Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about when will the war going to end in Israel, the war with Hamas and Israel. We're going to try to answer this question. So on the left side we get Israel with her targets and Hamas with her targets. Obviously we're going to talk about that and a side note, Hamas started the war, it's not something that Israel did. Obviously there was attack uh, October 9th. Um, 9th of October 2023 on the 8th of October in the 8th on the 8th of October 9th Jesus on the 8th of October 2023 thank you Hamas started the war and then we are here still today today the date is 16 of July 2024 we are still here so <laughs> left side targets Israel and Hamas right side her targets so what Israel wants what her targets to end the war first they want the hostage hostages back they want all the hostages I think that today we are talking about around 120 people it's not obvious if they are alive or they are dead next thing they want is Hamas to surrender they want to um, get Hamas to surrender basically all the Hamas the military the militants get there to to surrender right so gonna talk about it a bit more later and they want Hamas leader to be dead this is more of a symbolic thing to do like all the Sinwar and all the other people there the leaders they want them dead this is what Israel want in reality they want the hostages back but how many are really alive nobody actually knows okay but bodies also being considered to get you know, people want like closer closure. So people want the bodies, like families. So how many are alive? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Like maybe 20, maybe 50, maybe 70. Nobody knows. And the problem is that even Hamas doesn't know how many are alive. If Hamas is going to say tomorrow, hey, we're going to release all the hostages. I don't know if Hamas is well connected to bring all the hostages back all together. They can bring maybe like 20 back. This is why they are making small deals because sometimes they know some of them when they are, where they are, the hostages. So even Hamas doesn't know where are all the hostages in Gaza Strip and how many are really alive. They don't have a list. They don't have names. They don't have anything. So Israel also, another car target, they want Hamas to surrender. But this is something that I'm saying. You can't kill an idea. You remember ISIS? Nobody killed ISIS. ISIS still exists. It's, it's an idea. You can't kill Hamas. It's like saying, hey, after the World War II, we killed all the Nazis. No, the, nobody killed all the Nazis. Nazis, it's an idea. You can't kill an idea. You can't really kill Hamas. You can't kill them. You can make them weaker, but you can't kill them. Even if you kill all their soldiers and everybody, all the terrorists that, of Hamas, if you kill everybody, if, every single one of them, in a few years, maybe more people will rejoin, regroup, recreate Hamas. So let's target that Israel want is Hamas leader to be dead, the leaders. But where the fuck are they? Where are the leaders? They could be gone forever. What does that mean? So a few days ago, there was an attack. Um, Israel said they, they killed, I think, number two or number three. The person number two or number three in Hamas of their leaders. I can't remember the name right now. It was a, a guy that is like half blind, half deaf. He's a, not a hundred percent. He was like Israel tried to kill him like few times in the like many attacks. And this is like the maybe fifth. I, I don't know how many attacks that they, they, they already did Israel to try to kill him. I can't remember his name, but Israel is trying to target Hamas leaders. But Israel doesn't know with all the intelligence she have, like, where are they? Where are the leaders? They don't really know. And even if Israel will kill them, it's so complicated. They can, like Hamas, if they are together, they can hide the bodies of the leaders. Maybe, like, you know, because they don't want to show that Israel tried to, like, succeed, to do a big move, to kill um, a leader, you know, because this is, like, very important. And maybe some of the leaders are not in Gaza Strip. Maybe they are outside in hitting somewhere, maybe in Turkey, maybe in Dubai or, or, or I don't know, Iraq or other country. Maybe they're hitting somewhere. So it's kind of really hard to find. Even if they know, if, even if they have intelligence, they can launch in an airstrike, kill a person, kill a leader, and still nobody will know, nobody will approve 
that this kill was successful. There are no witnesses that are going to report because if a witness is going to report in a situation that a leader is dead, Hamas will probably kill him too because giving this information means some kind of, of, of surrenderness, if that makes sense. So what target does Hamas have? The first target that they have and the target that they always had is to eliminate Israel, rule the land of Israel, and Islamatize, this is what I'm saying, like Islamatize, like make Israel basically from the north to the south, like they are saying, from the river to the sea, they want all the Jews, everybody are gone, an Islamic state, and no Israel, not a single Jew living there. This is what Hamas want, not the Palestinians, this is what Hamas want. Maybe some of the Palestinians want something else, but I believe myself that this is not what all the Palestinians want, want, but this is what Hamas want. And this is what they tried to do on October the 8th, 2023. This is why they started this attack, killed over a thousand uh, citizens. Some of them were soldiers. In the same day, this is what they wanted from the beginning, before of that, and even today, this is what they want. Are they going to get it? No, they simply don't have enough power. Israel is very, very strong. Tanks, missiles, soldiers, air force, in intelligence, a lot of stuff. It's like Israel got like, it's not the biggest army in the world, but one of the best armies in the world. So how will it end if, like we said, all of those targets is very complicated. I think the answer is when Israel decides, it's not a decision of the world, even if there isn't the international pressure. I think in the end, it's only Israel to decide. It's not even Hamas because It's like I said, the military, they can't decide they are not in this position. They just did like a terror attack on October the 8th. They didn't did anything. They didn't have any success um, since when, since then. So it's only Israel to decide. And I think that Israel will decide when some hostages will be back home, maybe in a deal, maybe in a military um, action or something like that. Okay, I think maybe when a leader will be found dead. So this is will proof of like, hey, this person is kind of responsible for October the 8th. We kill this guy. It's helpful. We make uh, Hamas uh, weaker. Okay. And then less Hamas means less soldiers attacking Israel in the next couple of years. Again, you can kill an idea. So at least they make them weaker for, you know, some few years. It happens before. It's repeating itself. Every few years there is attack like this and then there is war, international pressure, it's repeating itself. But this time, 2023, it was kind of something else because more people died. It was well organized. This is what like in from the side of Hamas. And I think in the end, it will just take a few more months. This is what I think. I think like we're in July, maybe after the summer, it will end when Israel decides. This is what I think. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know if I got something wrong. Let me know your general opinion. When do you think the war is going to end? And let me know if you got any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Let me just find the person that I spoke about earlier. Yeah, so the person I spoke about was Muhammad Def. And this is the guy that we think right now that Israel may be killed. It's not sure, not certain. They throw in a bomb, they got intelligent information, and maybe they killed him. Nobody knows. Nobody will say. Hamas will never say, hey, you succeeded to kill him because it's considered to be a success. They want to show Israel as a failure. So this is how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.